Marking out or layout is the process of transferring a design or pattern to a workpiece, as the first step in the manufacturing process. It is performed in many industries or hobbies although in the repetition industries the machine's initial setup is designed to remove the need to mark out every individual piece. Manufacturing, marking out consists of transferring the dimensions from the plan to the workpiece in preparation for the next step, machining or manufacture. Typical tools include, surface plate or marking out table a euro provides a true surface from which to work. Angle plates a euro assist in holding the workpiece perpendicular to the table, scriber a euro is the equivalent of a pen or pencil. It literally scratches the metal surface leaving behind a fine, bright line, height gauge or scribing block a euro allows lines to be scribed at a preset distance, from the table's surface, surface gauge a euro an ungraduated comparison measuring tool that performs much the same function as the vernier height gauge. It is often used in conjunction with the dial indicator and a precision height gauge. Marking blue a euro to provide a usable writing surface by covering any existing scratches and providing a contrasting background, profile gauge, protractor a euro to assist in the transfer of angular measurements, combination square a euro an alternative tool for transferring angular measurements, square a euro to transfer 90 degree angles to the workpiece, punches a euro either prick or center punch to create permanent marks or dimples for drill bits to start in, automatic center punch a euro a spring-loaded punch that creates prick punch marks without the need for a ball-peen hammer. Ball-peen hammer a euro used in conjunction with the punches to provide the striking blow needed, dividers or measuring compass a euro used for marking out circles of any desired radius. Welding, as welding does not always require the use of fine tolerances, Marking out is usually performed by using center punches, hammers, tape measures and chalk. The chalk is actually a small pre-cut block of talc. These talc blocks can be sharpened to a stronger point than the softer blackboard chalk. The color of the chalk provides good contrast against the dark color of the hot rolled steel that is generally used. Woodworking, in carpentry and joinery practice a pencil is used for marking while in cabinet making a marking knife provides for greater accuracy. A story pole is used to lay out repeated measurements such as the location of joints in timber framing, courses of siding such as wood shingles and clapboards, the heights of dead arms and the courses of bricks in masonry. Carpenters typically mark out framing members on center, the measurements are to the centers of each member. References